Hello everyone, um, Tashi Dele and warm greetings to all of you from International Campaign for Tibet. I hope you are all having a good summer here at ICT. We have been keeping very busy as you can read uh, from this Tibet update. First of all, uh, we are hosting an in-person Tibet Lobby Day this year in Washington, D.C. on September 22nd and September 23rd. Uh, we're quite excited about that as we have already participants um, from uh, almost 19 states, almost 45 of them registered, um, covering East Coast to West Coast. And uh, we hope there are many more of you going to join us uh, from other states as well. Um, by registering for this event, you can help ensure that uh, Congress passes important legislation to support the Tibetan people. It is also a uh, wonderful uh, experience where you will get to visit Capitol Hill to meet with your elected representatives and their staff and office. Um, you will be joined uh, by uh, many Tibet supporters and Tibetan Americans. Um, you can learn more about this at uh, tibetlobbyday.us. Um, we are also taking applications for our annual Tibetan American Youth Leadership Program. Uh, which will be virtual this year. Uh, it will be held in the first week of December, but applications are due in the month of September. If you are a Tibetan American undergrad or grad student interested in U.S. politics and how Tibet policy, how Tibet policy is shaped in Washington, D.C., then this is the program for you. If you know of somebody who's interested, please feel free to share this as well. Um, we are also taking applications for um, the uh, Royal Fund for Tibet grants. And these are small grants for Tibetans working in the field of um, photography, filmmaking, environment, uh, women's programs, and um, uh, cultural preservation projects. Um, you can learn all the details about all of this, as well as uh, news, uh, including about His Holiness the Dalai Lama's um, uh, trip to um, Ladakh these past weeks, uh, about the situation in COVID in Tibet and much more. I thank you for tuning in to listen today and uh, thank you for your uh, continued support of ICT and for Tibet. Thank you. <laughs>